Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Travel to Molokai, Hawaii is more adventure than tourism. In this video, I share 15 tips I learned from my three day visit to the island. Molokai is a stunningly beautiful outer island of the Hawaiian archipelago, situated near Oahu and Maui. The island has many breathtaking vistas. Cliffs on the north side of the island are the highest in the world. Its population has shunned development and preserved local tradition. Molokai is known as the Friendly Island. Short on amenities, but long on natural beauty and small town charm. It has few restaurants, two gas stations, and no stoplights. On Molokai, no lines or crowds, just isolated beaches and opportunities for adventure. Tip number one for visiting Molokai or any of the Hawaiian Islands is respect. Show respect for the people, the land, and the culture of Hawaii. I made a friend my very first full day on Molokai. We felt welcomed by everybody, whether it was the grocery store or traveling around the island and meeting local folks. A little respect will go a very long way here on Molokai. We stayed here at the Kapui Beach Resort in West Molokai, very close access to the beach. My tip number two is about getting here. We traveled all the way from California to Molokai in one day. Next time, I would rest overnight or longer on Maui or Honolulu before starting my Molokai adventure. Years ago, there was a ferry option to get you to Molokai. Now, the only option is a Makulele Airlines small airplane that will take you from either Honolulu or Maui to Molokai. If you're waiting at Terminal 3 in Honolulu, you can get some great food from Lola's local grinds food truck. My first full day on Molokai, I got up early to take a walk. You can see this beautiful red dirt that's all over the island. I walked past an abandoned Sheridan resort, and that leads me to tip number three, which is, especially if you're staying in West Molokai, take a hike up to Kayaka Rock. From here, you'll see the beautiful Kapui Beach stretched out to the north, and to the south, the longest beach in Hawaii. That beach is called Papuchaku Park, and you could, on this particular day, have it all to yourself, all three miles of it. You look in the other direction from Kayaka Rock, and you'll see Kabui Beach and Bay. This is a favorite winter surfing spot for locals. The water gets very rough and the waves get very large here. We saw a bunch of other sheltered lagoons that would be perfect for snorkeling on the east side of the island. Really just an unbelievably beautiful place. And that morning, I had the entire place to myself. Well, I managed to get a bunch of good video and I spent quite a bit of time up on Kayaka Rock. It was time to head back and pick up my wife and go out and do a little bit of exploring. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, consider subscribing, and leave me a comment if you're enjoying the video. My 
tip number four is to rent an SUV when you're on Molokai. There are many dirt roads and 4x4 trails that you can explore while you're there. We are Jeep people, so we rented a Jeep, and that was a lot of fun. My tip number five is to make early dinner reservations. There aren't a whole lot of restaurants on Molokai, and most of them require reservations. Also, check the hours, because the hours will be a lot different, more than likely, from where you come from here on Molokai. Molokai Burger and Molokai Pizza are also a couple of great options for quick meals. My tip number six is to expect special moments. We had Christmas Eve dinner at the Molokai Hotel, which included entertainment with two gentlemen playing slack guitar and singing with beautiful voices when three local ladies got up and performed a traditional Hawaiian dance uh, it was an impromptu bit of entertainment from them, but it just made the trip so special and it was just really incredible moment. Christmas Day in Kanakake Town and the town is deserted. So tip number seven is be prepared to have the town closed on Sundays and holidays. It's island time and that's time to spend time with the family. So tip number eight is embrace and enjoy the small town charm. It's not gonna be open 24 seven like you're in Las Vegas, but we found Hula Bean Coffee was open so we were able to get breakfast sandwiches and coffee and the Molokai Mini Mart was open. We were able to stock up on a few things to take back to our, our rental condo, and that got us through the day. The town being empty made it easy to get video without bugging anybody. My tip number nine is to make your way over to the east end of Molokai and visit Halawa Valley. We stopped on our way there along Highway 450 and got some video of the island of Lanai. That lies just to the south of Molokai. From the lookout on Highway 450, you can get a great view of Halawa Bay and Moala Falls. It's a magnificent waterfall. It's a long three mile hike up to it and it crosses private land so a permit's required to get there. At the very end of the road, you'll reach Halawa Beach Park. There you can swim in the river or snorkel in one of these beautiful lagoons in Halawa Bay. This is the wet side of the island and it's obvious because there's so much different green vegetation growing here than on the west side. On the way out we stopped at Halawa Park. You can't drink the water there. There are some bathrooms. You can have a picnic and there's this old building there. We jumped in the Jeep and headed back towards Kanakake Town, which leads me to tip number 10. Enjoy the ride because you're not likely to see as many magnificent views of the Pacific Ocean as you are driving on Highway 450, this small two-lane road. It's a lot easier to enjoy if you're a passenger. If you're driving, keep your eyes on the road. Tip number 11 is Dixie Maru Beach. It was a little difficult to find all the way at the west end of the island at the very end of a dead-end road. No good Dixie Maru would be a wonderful place to spend the day. It's a beautiful sandy beach. This happens to have a creek that comes into it and from the recent rains had delivered quite a bit of that red dirt from Molokai down into the beach and the sand and the ocean. This area was once a bombing range for the military. Dixie Maru is a sheltered cove that would be awesome for swimming or just hanging out on the beach and watching a sunset. There are also a few picnic tables down here by this beach. And on the way out in the parking lot, there's a shower to shower yourself off. 
It's just an absolutely amazing beach to spend some time on, and I can't believe that we had it all to ourselves. But that's how a lot of the beaches are on Molokai. If you're enjoying the video and finding value in the content, please consider subscribing, hit that thumbs up button, and leave me some comments, especially if you've been to Molokai. Let me hear what your thoughts are. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. If you do subscribe and give me a thumbs up, YouTube loves that, and it'll help me grow this channel. Thank you very much. When a smoke-filled dog comes to The day after Christmas, we got up and headed back into Kaunakake Town, and leads me to tip number 12, food trucks. The Taste of Molokai food trucks, two trucks that are basically permanently located in downtown, have awesome food. They have a very large selection for being food trucks. After eating our lunch in downtown, we decided to get in the Jeep and do some off-road exploration. We found this trail that leads all the way to the Molokai Forest Reserve. And along the way, we stopped on some side roads and did some exploration there. The Molokai Forest Reserve Road would eventually lead to the Sandalwood Pit and then farther up to some lookouts and eventually either hiking or driving up to some peaks that are over 4,000 feet. And oh, I'm tired of sleeping on my own. Oh, we got pretty far up, but we had to turn around and head back because it was getting late. It would start getting dark. And I'm sleeping alone. But you remind me of somebody I know. Can I stay with you? I... Having only three days on Molokai, we weren't able to do a lot of the things that we really wanted to do. We headed back to town and picked up a couple of awesome salads at Molokai Pizza and headed out to the Kaunakakai Wharf to sit, watch the sunset, and eat, eat them out there. This was our last full day on Molokai, but there was time for one more stop and it was definitely worth it. Tip number 14, you definitely want to visit Kalo Upapa Lookout. It's a magnificent lookout over what was used to be a leper colony in the past. The Kalo Upapa Peninsula is actually a national park with extremely limited access as there are still a few patients out there. 15 minutes, we drove from one side of the island where the sun was shining to the other side at a higher elevation where there was rain and mist. My wife was pretty tired out from the whole day. I had left her in the Jeep so I hurried back to get back so we could drive down back to the condo on the west side of Molokai. That leads me to tip number 15, Kano Mitsu's Bakery. Unfortunately, it was only open on the morning we were getting ready to leave and head home. We did manage to get a taro donut and a coffee there. Well, we returned the rental car, headed back to the Molokai Airport to jump on the small twin engine turboprop plane to head back over to Honolulu for our trip home to California. Three days was definitely not enough. We just got a small overview of the island and I can definitely imagine coming back and spending, well, anywhere from five days to 10 or two weeks even. There's just so much to do on this small island and it's such a great place. It's unbelievable to be somewhere where you can have a beach to yourself that's three miles long and it's absolutely beautiful, like, like, uh, like being in paradise. So I hope you found the video interesting, got something out of it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you've ever been to Molokai, and hear your thoughts on it. Um, I definitely think it's one of the most beautiful places I've ever been by far and I can't wait to get back. 
I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, the best is yet to come. Thank you.